Welcome to Majitoots. In today's video, we will have a look at how to create a watermark in Canva. In fact, there are two great ways for you to create an awesome looking watermark in Canva. The first way to do it would be to use one of Canva's pre-made watermark templates. And the second way would be to create your watermark in Canva from scratch. First of all, let us head over to templates and let's have a look what kind of watermark templates Canva offers us. To do so, I will simply select here templates in the left sidebar. In there, make sure to search for watermark. And as you can see, we have some nice templates here for watermarks that you could use. However, at this point, you can also see that many of them have a crown symbol in the lower right corner. And whenever you see that, you gotta know that these are Canva Pro elements. So if you're on Canva free, you won't be able to use these Canva Pro templates in your design. That said, in this video, we will stick with free templates and we are going to choose the first one that pops up here and we are just simply going to use the first watermark that pops up here, which is this one here. So to use that one, I will simply drag and drop it inside of our project here. And as you can see, this is a watermark for a beauty wellness company. Now, as you surely know, watermarks are actually there to protect your designs and photos. And that means that a watermark is some kind of a brand logo that you will usually place on top of your images and pictures in order to protect them from other people stealing your designs and using them in their favor. That said, a watermark usually shouldn't have any background at all. So in our case here, I will make sure to select the background and I will delete that background. Now I'm going to add a second page here and it is now time for us to try this watermark on a random picture or image so that we can actually find out if this watermark actually serves the purpose well or not. So I'm going to head over here to photos in the left sidebar and I'm going to search for wellness and let's just take this picture here. I'll drag and drop that onto the second page here. And now I'm just going to select the whole design here, right click it and then click on copy. I then select the second page, right click and then click on paste. Also here in the browser, you might need to click on allow in order for the paste to be successful. So in my case here, we have now pasted our watermark on top of that picture. However, that doesn't look very good, does it? The biggest problem here is obviously that we have a pretty dark background and a dark watermark. So to solve this problem, I would simply reselect the whole watermark here. And then here in the top bar, I will click on this A here to change the text color. So typically a watermark is either black or it is white. So in our case here, a white watermark would definitely fit much better. So I'm going to change the color into white here. As you can see, this just changed the outer part of our watermark. However, I would like to change all of it. So I'm going to select this element here as well. Then for that one here, as it is an element basically and not text to change the color, I would have to click on this color tile here and I'm going to change this into white as well. Around this woman, we also have some stars here and these stars still are gray and not white. So make sure to select these stars here. And then once again here, you can change the color. In this case, we have two color tiles. As we want to have everything in white, I'm simply going to change both of these into white. And it seems that I have to do this for every star. So I will just quickly do that. And now I have successfully changed the whole watermark into white. However, it still doesn't look quite right. We still have two problems here. First of all, the watermark is probably far too big. However, it's up to you to decide how big you wanna have it on your design. But I would prefer to have it a little bit smaller. So I will make sure to select everything here and make it a bit smaller. Then I'm also going to reposition it a bit. And now the last thing that I'm going to adjust here is actually the transparency of our watermark. Because as you have surely noticed, watermarks usually have a pretty low transparency. And the reason for that is simply that on the one hand, you want to make sure that everybody can enjoy your designs. But on the other hand, you also want to make sure to protect them with your watermark. So the best thing you can do is to actually protect it with a watermark, but make sure that the transparency is low so that people can still clearly see and enjoy your designs. 
that's it i'm now going to select the whole watermark here again and to change the transparency what you have to do is to click here on those three dots in the top toolbar and then this symbol here lets you change the transparency so i will click on that and i will just adjust the transparency now until i reach the desired effect i would probably do something like this maybe a little bit more I'm just going to click outside of the design now so that all these helping lines will go away. And as you can see now, we have now adjusted the transparency of our watermark. And on the whole, this looks much more professional than before. And that's it, guys. This is how you create an awesome looking watermark in Canva based on Canva watermark templates. One thing I would like to mention at this point is, of course, that you can always go here and then change each of these elements from this watermark. To do so, I would probably change the transparency back in order for me to see it better. And then you can obviously go and click on this text here and you will then be able to adjust the text so you could very well use this design here but just rebrand it and put your own name there and you can obviously also switch out elements here you could remove that woman here take another element here from the elements tab or you could also just remove the stars and maybe use something else from elements here it's completely up to you so now for the second part of the video, we are going to create a watermark from scratching Canva. For this purpose, I'm using Canva Pro here. However, if you are on Canva free, you can also create a watermark from scratch, but your choices of elements and text will be somewhat limited because some of these elements are only available for Canva Pro users. That said, if you're interested in becoming a Canva Pro user, in the description of this video, you will find a link to a 30 day free trial for Canva Pro. I have already created a new project here and now to create our watermark we will make sure to head over here to elements and let's say I would like to have a watermark for my ice hockey team which is called the New York City Bears. In that case here under elements here I would search for ice hockey logo for example. And I will just scroll down a bit here and let's see what kind of logos we can find. I kind of like this logo here. I think that would look good for an ice hockey team. So I will just drag and drop that into my project here. And um, as I said, the team should be called New York City Bears. So I'm just going to add some text. You can do that by pressing T on your keyboard. Or you can also head over to text here and then just grab a heading here and drag and drop that into the project. Or you can also have a look here at uh, different fonts and choose one of these. In my case, I will just press T on my keyboard to add some text. I will then just reposition it. I will make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to change the text here into New York City Bears, as I just said before. And I don't think that this font looks good together with our um, logo here so i'm just going to double click on the font and then here in the top toolbar you can actually adjust the font i think i will go with this norwester font here which usually looks really nice for headings and titles i think that's pretty cool so i will just make that a bit bigger now and uh, i don't really want to have it that way i would like to have this text curved above my logo so to do that make sure that your text is selected then go into effects here and then for the shape here you can choose curve this is actually a pretty new feature that canva introduced in one of the latest updates so i think that looks pretty cool however it's a little bit too small so i will make this a little bit bigger i will let go reposition it and maybe make the logo a little bit smaller here as well I think some maybe a little bit bigger again maybe something like that looks pretty good and uh, another thing that you can do at this stage is because we have we are having um, multiple elements here that should always be in the same position you can um, select everything here like this and then you will click on these three dots here in the top toolbar and select group and now our logo here is grouped together. Whenever you click on one of these elements here, everything will move together smoothly. That's really a good thing to do, especially if you have like maybe four or five or even more elements. 
uh, then you really need to make sure that you can easily move everything together. Now to test our um, watermark, um, I'm just going to photos here in the left sidebar and I'm going to add one of these ice hockey graphics here. I think that I might go with this one here drag and drop it in my project and as you can see here our black font looks horrible together with that background so we are going to double click on our um, text here and we will change that into white by clicking here on that A in the top toolbar and then under default colors I'm just going to choose white here for our font let's have a look how this looks like I think that's much better like this and as this is a watermark, we obviously don't want to have this at a full transparency. So um, the next step will be to click on our logo and then we will click on those three dots here in the top toolbar again and then select this transparency symbol here and then move the fader to the left to reduce the transparency. As you can see, this actually only changes the transparency of the text, but not the whole logo. This is actually a bit odd because before we grouped everything together, so in my opinion, the transparency should now apply for however as this is not the case we will do it separately for both the text and then the graphic element of our logo as well. So I think I will go with something like 29% here and then I will click on our bear logo here. I will click on those three dots again and then click on transparency and let us now adjust the transparency of the logo itself here as well. And in that case, I will just choose the exact same um, transparency of 29%. And I think at this point we have to reposition our watermark a little bit because it doesn't really look nice here on top of that goal. So we are just going to reposition it here in the top left corner and I think I will make it a little bit smaller as well and just move it slightly to the right. And that's about it guys. This is how you create a watermark from scratch in Canva. Now obviously if you would like to download just your watermark you would add a second page here. Then right click on your logo, click on copy, then click on page 2, right click paste. And now we could make it a little bit bigger here again. As you can see now our text here is not visible. That's just simply because our text is white as well. But that's nothing to worry about anyway when we have a watermark and we want to download that. We would have to go to download here in the top right corner of the screen. Then you would download that as a PNG. And the important thing here now is to make sure that transparent background is actually ticked because later on we would like to be able to put our watermark on any kind of photo or image and it should be layered on top of these images and photos and in order for us to do that we absolutely need to make sure that our watermark is on a transparent background so that it will look nice when layered on top of another image. So simply make sure that transparent background here is ticked and then you can go and download it. As we have several pages here, you would also have to make sure to select just page 2 here, click on done and then click on download to download your watermark. As mentioned before in this video, the transparent background option here is actually a Canva Pro feature. So that said, if you are on Canva free, you won't be able to download your watermark with a transparent background. And that's it guys, this is how you create watermarks in Canva. I hope you did indeed enjoy this video, if you did I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day guys, bye!